I was recently on the Knights of the Nephilim podcast hosted by Freighter Crow. Please subscribe to his channel. I'll leave a link down below. And in our discussion, I had, I had brought up how left-hand path philosophy lit a fire under my ass to, to live life to its fullest. But, you may ask, isn't the left-hand path a negative philosophy all dark and gloomy? Dark, yes. Gloomy, no. Fuck no. Quite the opposite. The left-hand path is about finding the light in the darkness, the joyful in the demonic paradise in hell, if you will. And how does the sinister path do this? Number one, by teaching those who practice it not to wallow in self-pity, thinking you're always being victimized. My childhood? My, my childhood was a shit show, a horror story, a mental, physical, and sexual abuse. I should either be in prison, a mental hospital, or dead. But. I got a few lucky breaks. One, I'm no dummy, and two, I refuse to look at myself as a victim. And I've always been aware that there are those out there who have had it worse than I have. But because of my childhood, darkness began to close around me. But the left-hand path has helped me to see the light in the darkness, the, the smile on the face of the demon. So what I did early on is I decided I'm going to live I'm, I'm going to live out my childhood dreams. Now, it's not about being a great success though, that would be nice. It's it's about doing, trying, taking a chance. Because those on their deathbed never say they wish they had worked harder or longer hours. It's it's always regrets about those things they didn't do. So, I played in rock bands throughout the 80s. I went to Hollywood in the 90s, got bit parts in films, TV shows, commercials. In the 2000s, I turned my focus inward, studied philosophy, psychology, mythology, wrote quite a bit of fiction and nonfiction, and even worked out heavily, got got physically fit and in 2011 started the sect of the horn god the left hand path philosophy is a philosophy of doing not sitting around waiting waiting for god or whomever to do to you and this brings us to another major aspect of the path the left-hand path is not a world-denying philosophy like the right-hand path. Sure, this existence could very well be an illusion, but we don't know for certain, and we don't know what comes next, if anything. So this is the existence we have, we have possibly the only one, so let's not waste it. Too many occult philosophers, past and present, share a world-denying philosophy so they, their, their physical bodies and what happens to them doesn't matter. Crowley and Blavatsky come to mind. Blavatsky was obese and only 59 when she died. I am 60 years old. Now, you're not going to see too many 60-year-olds that look like me. Going so far into the darkness that you come out into the light is the objective. Coming to terms with the horror by feeling the pain and not denying it and letting it wash over you like a, like a shower of blood. Then coming to terms with existence by not hiding from the storm but finding the calm within it. That, that is the objective. So, in conclusion, my friends, foes, and faithful minions, what are you doing with this existence you found yourself forced into? Are you wallowing in woe is me? 
Or have you grabbed life by the balls and stared it down? Are you doing what you love or what society or family thinks you should be doing? Let me know by leaving your comments down below. Until next time.